Hi guys, Yaka here. So the per I've invested the rest of my golden packs as well. So let's open the remainder of the packs uh, for the uh, expansion release. Um, so already did the uh, pre-order bundle. And let's see the rest of this. And as I mentioned before, you always just want to check, are you lucky or unlucky? So with this, uh, usually you would say like every 20 packs you get a legendary. So... Based on this, um, so if I get three legendaries, it means it would be around 60 packs, uh, and I have 71, then it would be an unlucky pack opening. And if I get four legendaries, then it would be a lucky one. So easy. There's no like middle ground here. It's either I'm unlucky or I'm lucky. So we'll see, uh, and we will bust open the rest of the stuff we have. Good start. Man, man. Two mana feeders. All right. Man. Another mana feeder. Oh, plagiarize. Cool. I don't think I have it already though. All the comments should be sorted now. It's more the epics and legendaries. That's an epic. Steel Dancer. I've seen some people play with like an aggressive uh, rogue build where the top end of the rogue. Uh, with the new self sharpening sword, uh, the top end of that deck is the Steel Dancer. Maybe it will turn out to be good, and then we can try it later. Golden hey, golden cards! They're quite fun in the arena to have the golden cards as well. So I'm keeping those. Rare one. Nothing too crazy. First legendary Vectus. Nice. Nice. I'm not sure there's a deck for it right now, but it is a really powerful effect. Copying death rattles that. Uh, of minions that have died in the game. First one. Oh, golden rare. Oh, cool. Looks nice. So already on the before I got the first ten. So right now I'm on par with the with the luck of being lucky. So if I get three more, which is should be possible out of 60 packs. Uh, Blood Herald. Probably not going to be good. Um, what do we have? Troublemaker. I've seen a couple of theory crafts with Troublemaker already. Another epic, Flesh Giant. All right, there's kind of the. Um, I'm not sure it's gonna be strong enough, but I've seen um, one preparation of this. Can't specifically remember the game plan on it. I think it was some control elements. Wow. Twilight Runner already prepared, uh, prepared a list uh, for Druid, which runs the Twilight Runner. I'll put in the golden card in that one. Commencement. Mm, seeing that someone did a. 
a theory craft on a dimensional ripper wire with commencement. Standard pack. I played against a cram session also already, which I beat. Gracious reader, I have already lost to that card. So in a, I was like playing against the druid and just vomited out their hand and then dropped Voracious Reader and then just drew a bunch of cards. That's a re it's a really powerful aggressive replenishment card. Just having a druid being that aggressive and being pumped out resource and then I've, I get finished off to double savage roar. Ouch. That hurt. Another epic. Ceremonial Maul. Uh, seen some people trying... Well, including them at least. Including Ceremonial Maul in um, control. Warrior. Lucky, rare. I would like one more legendary. We only got one so far. Legendary. Only have Wectus. Mm, well, Paratoxin Blade was actually also including that aggressive uh, rogue build that I saw. Which makes sense if it revolves around weapons. Another epic. Enchanted Cauldron. I think that's the second one. So then I got my cauldron s sorted. The troublemaker. Golden Common. Hmm. Shiny book. Dylan New Taker. I have seen, haven't I think seen it included but not as a core game plan of any shaman deck. Brain freeze! Okay, now I, I, the legendaries, come on you guys, where are you? Man. Golden rare. Uh, food flying around. It looks quite nice. Stewardess scrolls. Dude! I'm almost halfway through the amount of cards that I purchased. And I've got one legendary show for, to show for it. No! Come on, legendaries! I need to... Three more on 34 packs. Fell philosophy. I haven't really found a deck for that yet. And right now I don't think I will, but I could be surprised. Oh, not looking good, guys. But I'm only guaranteed to get one more legendary because I'll hit the pity counter before I hit the remainder of the packs. And I think we're getting there. Uh, that's Druid Sue. I guess you would call it that. That swarm deck from Druid also ran Gibbling. It actually worked quite okay. Who but me? Oh, legendary! Hi, Abyssalura. Nice. Okay, so some kind of board buff approach. Hmm, could be good, could be good. And self-sharpening sword as well. Cool. 
two legendaries. Whew. Now I just need. Well, I was just about to say one more. I need two more. Two epics and Steel Dancer and Golden. Wow. Perfect. And combustion, combustion as well. Another. Okay, I'm just pounding through the legendaries. I was actually playing as the. A, a druid which ran Kael'thas and then survival of the fittest. That, that was a deck I was thinking about as well. So, I haven't tried it yet. Initiation. I think it was a generated card, but that's been played against me as well. It kind of didn't work. <laughs> Only two legendaries. Come on. We need more. Double rare. And we are in duplicates for the commencement and troublemakers now. So I think it's just epics and uh, it's just epics and legendaries. That we, don't have, that we don't have the full collection of. I think this... I remember sometimes that I would struggle to get the last rare cards. So these... Uh, this uh, protection that you only get duplicates. You know, and you get two, the two they can use in a deck and then you go to other cards. That's really good. Another epic! Truing Crescent. Perfect. I think I, Oh, looks nice. Like a vortex. Uh, I think I had another Truing Crescent already, so I think that's the second one. Ah, will I manage to get two legendaries? Two legendaries. In 15, 16 packs with this one. Uh, it's not looking good guys seems like we're on a unlucky but if I only get two though I would argue that this is a very unlucky pack opening only two cards on 71 packs or two legendary cards on 71 packs um, that 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 would probably I would think that was, the last one I had was an unlucky pack opening but this would be the worst oh <laughs> And now we're just regularly unluckily, uh, reg well, we just have regular bad luck if we only manage to get Jandis. Jandis seems like a good card though. Could be the top end of an aggressive build. Perfect. Whew, a little bit more of these. So, a chance to get a legendary in the last 12. Uh, it's probably not gonna, it's not gonna happen. An epic, I'll take that. The second philosophy. Cool. Two, two rares. Uh, packs are quite good though. It's just not really not getting all the legendaries. I do get a fair amount of epics though. And a regular one. Come on, legendary! Another epic. Argent Bragger. Seems like a good card. Um, we'll see if there's a deck for it, but the effect is powerful for two mana. Cycle Hatred. We got all of those. Another epic. 
Devout Pupil. I think it was a generated card, but it's been played against me, and that was actually more annoying than I expected. It's not that I thought it was going to be a bad card in any way. Oh, we are lucky boys! Speaker Gitra. I've seen each and every druid that I've played against since the release of the expansion have had Speaker Gitra. Seems like a good card, and it was actually quite difficult to get rid of. Uh, and the effect is uh, a little bit different from what I saw. Uh, I thought to gain attack and health equal to the spell's cost is a it's added stats. So you, if it's a two mana spell, you get three six in stats. So you get them as a bonus. I thought they replaced the health. Actually, I don't know why, but. We're lucky! We have a lucky pack opening! Woo! And the remaining ones is just gonna be regular packs. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. Oh, epic! Nice. Playmaker. I've seen the list include this as well already. I think that was the... That was the control wire. Which makes sense. And here comes the book from Scullerman's Academy. What do we have? Nothing. Oh, common, rare, common, and that's it. The last pack is always a like regular one. So that's it. We have gotten a bunch of more cards and I think that we got a good amount of legendaries four more legendaries and as I mentioned that I would deem as lucky not insanely lucky it's not uh, on 71 packs getting four legendaries is not like uh, completely crazy but I am happy with the results but I was kind of whoo <laughs> it was a little bit hot there for a moment uh, um, that didn't seem to pan out my way but we got there in the end and we got some good cards and some fun stuff uh, lined up so we'll definitely try and jump in and try some of the new decks that is actually already being developed at the moment. Uh, so far I'm having great fun with this expansion and I'll try to share if I find some good decks or if I see other ones discover some really good deck archetypes. Uh, both whatever ones that we have there that is maybe a little bit more expensive but also I'll try to see if I can find some budget decks out there. But this concludes the remaining of the packs that I had prepared for Scholarman's Academy, and thanks for watching, guys.